Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saints here. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. It's Monday night. And I'm finally throwing down cards for the work week top and bottom of the deck. I apologize. It was a rough weekend. And I didn't want to get my butt out of bed this morning. I did not want to face the day. The only the only bright side of today was it was Monday. And tomorrow's Tuesday, and I don't work Tuesdays at my bread and butter job. I just work here. So, we're through the worst of it. Let's throw your cards down. For those of you who are new here, don't know how we do this, it's currently cancer season. Cancer is a water element, so I'll start off with the water signs. Go around the wheel that way. Same as a general zodiac sign reading. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. Stick through to the end. Check your moon rising or Venus sign reading if you feel so inclined. I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. Do what you want. It's your journey. Do what you want. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Cross watchers are always welcome. Let's throw down some cards. Okay. Okay, the cards are saying stop shuffling. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for you guys this week. The Hierophant and the Empress, both in the reverse. Well, breakdown of a blessed union. This could be someone you have a child with that resonates with you. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini. Okay. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. Okay. In the past, we have the Two of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. There was a connection. It was new. It was different. Someone, one of you may have had a little bit of an independent streak. Okay. Seven of Swords and Judgment. Oh, gosh. Okay. There could have been lies sneaking around. Somebody had to make a judgment call. Okay. Someone had to let something close out for something to either resurrect or something new to get started. This week, okay. Justice in the reverse could be a Libra you're dealing with. Four of Wands in the upright. Things are still a little bit off balance, but the doors of stability are opening. Can I get a clarifier on the judgment card, please? Queen of Swords. Oh. That's cutthroat. That's judgment call. That is someone demanding truth and honesty. That is like the off with your head type card. <laughs> that is... You know what? You're going to be honest with me. You're going to be straight with me. I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm not. Okay. Almost cold and icy. Why is justice reversed here? Wow, it gave me three. I guess I'm going to take them all. The world reversed, the king of wands, and the three of swords. That's the comeback card. 
maybe a fire sign you're dealing with. Come back around, confrontations, more heartbreak. Why is the Four of Wands here? Hermit, yes. One of you may have felt that this, that the judgment call was unfair and feeling a little bit confrontational may want to return to settle a score. Why is the Three of Swords here? Ten of Swords reverse. Their painful cycle isn't over. They don't want this to end. But you be making might be making another judgment call, water signs, to restabilize and kind of go inside. Really set out on your spiritual path and decide what you want. Wow. Okay. What's your advice? Hmm. Two of Swords upright, King of Cups reversed. Hmm. You need to take the blindfold off and make this decision negate of any emotion. Hard, right? I know. star in the reverse and the page of cups in the upright. Hmm. This is an unsteady connection, obviously. Until they're coming back straight and that cup is full of the right things that they're coming back with, um, I don't know. I, I think it's saying don't take the cup. Don't give, don't take. The energy is too unstable. Seven of wands, upright, 10 of pentacles reversed. You need to regain control of this situation and not invest in things that don't serve you. You need to invest in you. You need to get a handle on it, water signs. This may not have been meant to be. Hard thing to accept. There was lies involved here, there was secrets. I only have one three on the table, so I'm not thinking third party. It's not screaming third party. Not to say third party wasn't involved in the decision. Take it however it resonates. Somebody's not happy with the choice that was made. And they're gonna try to come back. You need to make a logical decision, not an emotional one. Okay guys, what signs would I have for you friends? Wow. 
That's dark water. Wow. My Venus is in Scorpio. Hmm. Okay. Fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What do we have for you this week? Six of Swords reversed, King of Cups in the uprights. Could be a water or an air sign you're dealing with. Someone may be returning. That's devotion. Wow. Wow. Death in the reverse, hanging man in the reverse. Okay. So rewind a little bit. A change didn't take place that was supposed to. Maybe you just didn't see eye to eye. Someone couldn't accept the fate of a situation. Emotional hang-ups. Someone may have left something behind from another connection. Or had leftover residual. Maybe that's the change that couldn't take place or didn't take place. Fast forward. Nine of cups in the reverse. Fool in the reverse. Oh boy. Lack of happiness. Someone wasn't emotionally filled. Maybe didn't trust their own judgment. Maybe had a hard time trusting other people. Bumps in the road. What about this week? Page of Pentacles in the reverse. King of Pentacles in the upright. Oh, okay. I think an offer may be turned down because someone's finally coming into their own. Good possibility. I'm curious, why is death reversed here? One card. One card. Four of swords in the upright. Having to lay something to rest. Something may have just been ignored. An issue may have been ignored. Just dropped like a hot potato. Just, you know what? Forget about it. I'm done with it if you're done with it. That's the vibe I'm getting off of that. But the other person, I don't think... What, what, somebody wasn't done with it. That's why the hangman reversed here. Why is the hangman reversed here? Ten of swords, eight of pentacles in the reverse. This was painful. This was painful for someone. Closing out of a painful cycle. Maybe couldn't concentrate on work. Didn't want to put work into anything. Could have been a Scorpio or a Pisces you were dealing with. Somebody just hung it up. Okay. Why is the Nine of Cups reversed here? 
star reversed. Unacknowledged connections, lack of healing. Part of Aquarius, for those of you who are keeping score. I also have Scorpio and Pisces and Aries. A little bit of fire, a little bit of water. A little bit of air, a little bit of earth. They get what they wanted, they weren't happy. Why is the full reverse here? didn't trust your own judgment done with relationships I'm hearing done jumping not jumping in anything anymore hmm. stopped working on it done putting energy into things wow okay Why is the Page of Pentacles reversed here? I'm not taking ten cards. No. The one on top was the Six of Cups. We'll keep that. Someone from your past, potentially. Someone you have a deep connection with. But you're not taking any offers. You have happy memories with this person. But you're not... You're not taking the pentacle. You're not accepting the apology. You're not making offers. You're not taking offers. Page of Wands reversed. You're not moving forward with it. Someone may try to return. Someone may try to return with a giant cup of love. You're not taking it. You're like, ah, I think we just need to stay friends. Mm. Empress. This is someone you could have a family with already. This is someone who could be family. Doesn't work with a love connection, but you know. This is not necessarily a love reading. That is the mommy card, though. Hmm. Okay. Why is the Empress here? Five of Wands reversed. At the very least, it's going to put a planet, put an end to conflict. Why is the King of Pentacles here? It's three. Oh well. Queen of Wands reversed. Eight of Wands in the upright. Ten of Pentacles in the upright. I think you're, yeah, I don't see you taking the offer. I think, I see you working on your own abundance and being good with you. You just kind of lost passion for it, Fire Signs. You're working on you, that, that's amazing. Get your advice. Two of swords in the upright, ace of swords in the reverse. If you're having a hard time making a decision on this, it's best to not communicate for a while. came off the bottom, that came off the top. They're sticking together. Nine of Pentacles in the upright, tower in the reverse. Allow the dust to settle and work on you. 
Yeah. That's good advice. All right, one more, and then we're gonna move on. The devil and the three of cups in the reverse. I was wondering why that nine of cups was there. There's a good possibility that to, for a point, for a while, one of you, possibly my fire sign friends, possibly the person you're dealing with, wasn't filling your cup with the, with the appropriate things. You need to disconnect from that energy. Whoever it was. If the cross watcher's watching, if it's the fire sign person, you need to disconnect from that energy. In the process of working on you and bettering you and letting the dust settle and allowing yourself to make this decision with the blindfold off. And blindfold off, I mean not being clouded by your emotions or the thoughts and feelings of other people. Just to compress and think it through. Okay? That's what I have for my fire sign friends this week. Maybe you're the one returning with the cup of love. I don't know. I wasn't there. Don't look at me. Scattered energies tonight, gang. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, what do you guys have this week? Sun in the reverse, the moon in the upright. Huh. Might be a Leo you're dealing with. Might be a Pisces. Okay. The sun is not shining. Or someone is not acknowledging the connection. There could have been some secrets, skewed perceptions, things being blown out of proportion, perhaps. Okay. Let's rewind a little bit. Not you. Well, since you decided to show yourself, I'm going to put this back at some point. No, I'm not. Princess of Cups, Prince of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Cute little messages of love. Slow moving potential. Didn't go anywhere. Find out why it didn't go anywhere in a minute. King of Wands in the reverse, Five of Pentacles in the upright, someone lost passion, somebody got left out in the cold. Screeching to a halt. Someone may have just been trying to avoid confrontation ghosted out on somebody. Okay. What's happening this week? 
Earth sign friends, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, King of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles, making logical, non emotional decisions, trying to regain balance. Why did the Ten of Pentacles reverse show up? Hi! Ten of Wands reversed. Somebody had baggage. That's two cards of an incomplete cycle. That's why it didn't happen. That's why it didn't work out. Somebody had baggage. Possibly could have been a little bit draining. Why is King of Wands reversed here? Karma reversed. Oh my. Not only was there an avoidance of confrontation, there was complete isolation. Like, they disappeared from the face of the earth, complete isolation. Could have been you, could have been them. Ghost with... Wow. Ghost, ghost, ghost. Why is five pentacles here? The world. That ended it in a big hurry. I think possibly someone who may have just been like, okay, if you're going to end it, fine, so am I. Or if you're not going to end it, I'm going to end it. Is I, I'm seeing just disappeared. Like, didn't want to have the argument. Wow, been there, done that. I'm a Virgo moon and a Virgo rising, so this is making a little bit of sense to me. Huh, okay. Maybe you were never meant to know why they, they left. Or why they ghosted. Maybe that's why the moon showed up. That's the air of mystery. That's that's the smoke and mirrors. Why is the okay? On to this week. Why is the King of Swords here? Ace of Pentacles. Logical, non-emotional decisions to move on to something with the potential of abundance. One more. One more. Hi. Star in the reverse. Unacknowledged connection. Somebody didn't close the cycle out. And someone's about to start a new cycle. I don't think this chapter's over, my friends. Because the connection's still there. It's not acknowledged. Why is Two of Pentacles here? Five of Swords. Trying to regain balance, can't pick up those pieces. One more. Five of Cups reversed. Five speak of transition. It's the middle of the road. Trying to regain your balance when you can't pick the pieces up. And you're still trying to come out of that state of sadness. You're still trying to see yourself 
through through the smoke and the mirrors and the fog and the missed perceptions, things being blown out of proportion. One more on that. Justice comes out. The leveling of the playing field. Could be a lever you're dealing with. Earth sign friends, you may not be meant to know why it didn't work out. I think some of you may be questioning it. Trying to separate yourself from it. You're trying to start over, but something got left hang, hanging out there. And until this connection is acknowledged, I don't know. Let's get your advice. The Six of Cups in the reverse and the King of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, there's some bad, salty memories involved in this. Very bad tastes have been left in mouths over this. I'm hearing no love loss. Someone has separated themselves from this emotionally. Two more. The Nine of Cups in the upright and the Five of Wands in the reverse. It reminds me of the phrase, silence speaks louder than words. But the only way to really, and this is like the third upside down five. In order to close this out properly, the confrontation has to come to an end. In order for everyone to be happy, the connection has to be acknowledged. You have to process these negative emotions somehow, some way. It's got to be processed. The four of swords in the upright and the seven of pentacles in the reverse. Lay it to rest. Don't wait for it to fruit anymore. I don't know who that was for, but it was for someone. Watched pots never boil. One more set, and then I think I'm going to call it. The Hanged Man and the Six of Pentacles in the Upright. Okay. Okay. That's strange advice, but we'll run with it. The playing field levels out a little bit when you see it from the other person's perspective. Sometimes perspectives get skewed when you don't look through the other person's eyes. And sometimes when you have to look through the other person's eyes, you have to look in a mirror. I don't think this was anyone's fault specifically. I think it may have been both your faults. If that's possible. But then again, things were left unsaid. Somebody just kind of ghosted. Came screeching to a halt. It's like, end by default. Wow, earth signs. I don't even know what to say to this. I think you guys are going to get a special reading tomorrow after energies are cleared a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and post this, but I think you guys are going to get a Tuesday special because 
I'm getting some wacky energies tonight. Wow. Wow. I love you guys. You know, the earth signs, I don't like to pick favorites. I mean, and this is fire sign tarot, but I have a little special place in my heart for my earth sign friends. You guys are so chill. You guys are so chill. Sometimes you're too chill. Too chill. Meh. It is what it is. I'm a Virgo moon and a Virgo rising. I can say that. But, you can always count on your earth sign friends. In, in a crisis, I mean, the house can be burning down. And they're going to say, this is fine. It's okay. It's going to be fine. It's really no big deal. I've never known an earth sign person to have a panic button over anything. They're just that chill. Fire signs have a panic button over everything. I can say that I are one. I'm a Sagittarius. Anyway, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's happening for you guys this week? What? Ten of swords upright, four of pentacles reverse. Yes! Sunshine. And again, you, you're through the worst of it. You're letting it go. You're releasing it. That's awesome. I like it. In the past, we have a page of cups in an upright and the five of cups. Sorry, page of cups reversed. Five of cups upright. Lack of communication. Somebody was left in a state of sadness. <laughs> the cups got spilled. There's still two full cups back there. You just can't see them because you're, you're staring at the mess. You were staring at the mess. You couldn't see the two full cups behind you. Fast forward a little. Ten of cups, six of pentacles. You moved on. You moved forward. Complete happiness. Possibly in a connection where things were equal. Okay. Well, what's coming up this week? Six of swords and a four of wands. There's a return. Some of you may have a twin flame returning. The four of wands is the twin flame card. Hmm. That's very interesting. Doors opening. Cycle ending. Letting something go. Obviously something you moved on from because you're completely happy. Things were equal. Things were amazing. And all of a sudden this happens this week. Why is the page of cups up here? Why is Page Cups reversed here? We're just going to run it. Told you it might be a long one. I'm already at 40 minutes. Whoa! Don't everybody try to talk at once. Knight of Swords upright, Ace of Swords reversed. Wow, somebody couldn't even dial direct. They had to go sneaking around spying. Possibly hearing something from an outside party. That's why communication was cut off. Okay. Why is the five of cups here? Hi, priestess. That's why you were so sad. There's a very powerful connection here. 
Okay. Oh, look. Twin flames. If you believe in that sort of thing, which personally I don't, but I'm just looking at the cards. I'm just seeing what I see in the cards. Somebody's coming back. Why is Ten of Cups here? Knight of Pentacles reverse. One more. Two of Cups. Someone moved on to another connection because an apology was never given. Okay. Why is six pentacles here? Seven of wands. Someone finally took control and said, this is what I want. This is what I expect in a connection. And that's what they got. They got happiness. Okay. Well, that's amazing. Why is six swords here? Eight of Cups, Two of Wands, both in the reverse. Somebody couldn't let go. Somebody couldn't move forward because they were stuck. So they made the return. Coming back with their tail between their legs to give one more. One more. Page of Wands, Upright. Oh my. Air signs. Lizard, lizard, lizard. We're going to try to walk that path again that was interrupted. The path they were afraid to walk before. All right. Why is four wands here? They want to open the door again. They want you back. You may have had someone waiting in the wings and that was the two cups that you didn't see until you turned around and finally saw them and came out of that state of sadness. There it is. Things were good. Now you got somebody coming back. Air signs. Wow. Let's get your advice. I also call the Ten of Swords my ultimate closure card. Yeah. Three of Cups and a Five of Wands. Okay. 
if things are good and they're still going good, consider this a warning. Don't throw yourself into a third party situation and start a fight. Things are going good, they're going good. Okay? Things are going good, let them be good. Nine of Swords in the reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. You don't overthink this. Don't get all up in your head about it and go back crap bonkers. You may need to just be independent from this down here. I mean, yeah, it, it may well be a twin flame. It, it is a very powerful connection. It, it's a soulmate connection. But. Four of Swords and the Page of, page of Swords reverse. This may need to be laid to rest. And it might even be a good idea to not even engage with it at all. And just not even allow the communication to come through. But it's your journey, not mine. And there's some scattered energies tonight, guys. Wow. I, I think I'm going to sit down and do a special reading tomorrow. Because, uh, wowza. Wowza. Okay. Okay. I think, I think we're going to call it a night. Because, uh, yeah. I love you guys, though. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by. Whew. Okay. We'll definitely see what Friday's reading brings. And, yeah. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to do a Tuesday special. See what the cards have to say tomorrow. For real. And I got to start the cycle tomorrow for the month of July. Oh, I'm going to go to bed. Thanks for hanging out. Love you to bits. And we'll catch you next time.